Hello Virgo, welcome to Valerie from Vega. My tarot reading for you guys for mid-July slash the next week of July, right off the bat, we got the Nine of Coins. That's wish fulfillment card, but this girl is alone. Virgo, you guys, I fucking love Virgo. I just love Virgo. You know what I like about Virgos? I'm, I'm always really attracted to Virgos. Virgos have this way, even though they're kind of like, they're very, not kind of, what am I saying? They're very particular about things. And yeah, they can be kind of bossy. And honestly, they can just be straight up snob, straight up snob. But it's because they know their worth. Like as an Aries and Capricorn, I truly don't see myself sometimes, you guys. I don't see my worth sometimes. My Virgo friends, <laughs> they're just like, bitch, bitch, what? And I'm sorry, not sorry that I'm cussing. Um, Cause that's, you know, that's what came through. So, all right, energies for Virgo. Ooh, chariot in reverse and seven of wands. Mm, Virgo, I'm feeling stubborn. Feeling something stubborn from you. All right, what is Virgo's energy? Right away, nine of swords. Ooh, you are thinking about something. There is something that you are desiring. What's crossing? Yep, soulmate energy, six of cups in reverse. Right off the bat, Virgo, you are nostalgic about something. Look, these two cards, right? Oh, ooh, what's hiding? Virgo. I've been getting this in so many cards and so many of the readings. Oh, well, a couple of them. Ace of Coins, and it's paired with the Nine of Swords. So, Virgo, as soon as you're ready to emotionally release something, as soon as your heart, and I don't mean mentally, because you can mentally in the world know that something isn't right for you, know that a place isn't good for you, a person's not good for you. You can know these things, but until you actually feel it in your heart, you're going to go to bed at night like this. And while you're still going to bed at night like this, you are blocking this from coming into your life. If you want this to come into your life, Virgo, then the same thing. Because see, look, these two cards are very similar. And it's a six and a nine, this is progression. And the six is your subconscious. And this is the energy that you're kind of wearing right now. Or if, if nothing changes, this is the energy you're wearing right now. So think about that, Virgo. Do you want this new beginning? Hello, it's gonna take, it's gonna take you dropping this. But at the same time, it's good to feel your emotions, and I feel like, Virgo, it's been really healthy, but I feel like you've been doing it for long enough. I feel like, Virgo, you have been <sighs> solemnly experiencing what you've needed to experience for long enough, and it is time. It's time. It's time to let in that new ace. All right, so let's see what crowns you. What is crowning Virgo? What's crowning Virgo? So this is energy that's gonna be helping you arrive in your next state towards that ace of coins. Crown Virgo, crowning Virgo. And sometimes like, you guys are stubborn. <laughs> but then it all comes at once. When it rains, it pours. All right, we're gonna pop it out like this. So what's crowning you is Knight of Swords. Yep, this is you guys being resistant to something, but you know what? What's interesting about this? Is your recent past is an ace of wands. Someone tried to come in. Oh man, you guys, something tried to come in. Something wanted you, someone wanted you, or you tried. But you guys, this is like, the ace of wands is kind of like a, even if you're feeling, six of cups is soulmate energy, but ace of wands is kind of like a hot hookup. So, even though in your heart you may be feeling a soulmate energy towards someone, maybe your ego is still, your egoic wall is still too high that the person that you came at perceived you like you just came in like an ace of wands kind of energy and they're like, Ugh. and what I also what I also get that is because what's crowning you is the Knight of Swords in reverse. And this is cool because Knight of Swords upright is a player. This guy's a player. He's like, I'm smooth. I can get that girl. He's, he's the guy with his friends. He's like, watch this. See that girl at the bar? I'm gonna get her number. Knight of Swords in reverse says, I'm done with that shit. I'm done. But you know what? It's still tempting you because in your recent past is an Ace of Wands and in your future, whoop, your future is Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups. That wasn't reversed. It was upright. Seven of Cups is an so it turned off mid-reading, but basically you have a lot of decisions to make. Your energy on your path is Seven of Wands. This is you trying to make your decisions. Now, 
Sevens, there's kind of resistant energy there. Now your future energy is the Seven of Cups and on your path, it's still a Seven. However, you are moving on from the Six of Cups. So this is good because even though it's slow progression, which the Ace of Coins is slow progression, you guys, it is progression. So be happy about that. Now who you're dealing with, this is awesome energy to have. Your environment is Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. This is hard work. This is the beginning of something good. This is collaboration. This is collaborative efforts. If this is a partnership, this is a partnership where it's you, them, and whatever your spiritual belief is. Um, it's kind of like I'm being brought to like when relationships say, I'm a wedding photographer. So it's like whenever I'm at a wedding and they tie the rope and they say, this rope is God, this rope is me, and this rope is my spouse. And because of the three, the knot of three, the knot will never be undone, right? So this is a beautiful, this energy is a beautiful energy to have in your environment. Now you're going to have to work a little bit to get there, but the seven of wands, she's kind of, or he, he, she, it's kind of a magician of an energy. But again, there's all these choices. Now your hopes, dreams, and fears are the world. You want the world, but that's terrifying sometimes for you, Virgo, yeah? You're worth the world though. However, your outcome is the wheel in reverse. So, what I'm being told here, Seven of Cups, be, be wary, you guys, of this, of this. All right, so because of your subconscious energy and the soulmate energy that you're dealing with, you lingering on these thoughts and having all these choices, be careful, Virgo, of making the wrong choice. Because this is, some big change is happening in your life, whether you like it or not. Now, whether that choice is going to be a positive one that affects you for the better is your choice. You have the choice right here. Literally, quite literally, the tarot is telling you it's your choice, Virgo, but you have to make the decision and sitting still is not making the decision. So stop sitting still, make a decision. But I know that you're gonna not sit still because you're in the Seven of Wands, but the Seven of Wands is resistant energy. This is, I tried that already, it didn't work. Try it again, try it again, Virgo. This is my try it again card, especially with the three of coins following it. Um, I get three, three, seven, and seven, three, 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 seven, three. Threes and sevens are big in my life. They show up for me a lot. All right, what is Virgo's advice? I'm gonna get some advice for you guys. And clarification, actually, no, first clarify the wheel. Clarify the wheel in reverse. Clarify the outcome. What is another outcome for my Virgos? Because you have seven of cups, you have decisions, you have choices. So what's another outcome for my Virgos? What is another outcome for my Virgos? Yep, I just got the devil upright, which is fantasy, pleasure, kind of giving into the dark side. So don't give in to that. That is if you allow your knight of swords to go upright. Keep your knight of swords energy, Virgo, in reverse. Keep that player mentality or that being, yep, eight of swords, queen of cups. Nine of Cups Wish Fulfillment, the Hermit, it's your card, Virgo, the Hermit. You go within, eights are about balance, so there's balancing that needs to happen here. I'm getting that is why the wheel's in reverse, because something is out of balance, Virgo. Now what's cool about this is as soon as balance is restored, you got the Queen of Cups and the Nine of Cups come out together. Nine of Cups is the Wish Fulfillment card. It is the Wish Fulfillment card. You're getting that with the Queen of Cups. This is the Divine Partner. This is your work partnership. Remember, you guys, that all divine unions start within the self. As you become a divine partner to yourself, you become a divine partner to whoever it is that you are meant to be with at that time in your life. Time is linear. It's fluid. It's all the things. Time doesn't exist at the same time, right? None of this does. So... <laughs> With that energy, what I'm getting, Virgo, is get into your water. Get into the water. I think your union is going to happen as you relax because Seven of Cups being your future energy and this also being your possible outcome, these are all about cups. Cups are all about emotions and really feeling from the heart. So, Virgo, you can kind of be very practical at times. Um, you can be kind of practical. You can be kind of charming. You can kind of be a jerk sometimes. You can you know, have all that energy. But I think this is a time, Virgo, that the universe is really asking you to get curious about your emotional body and to tap more into your emotions. I'm getting, Virgo, if you are a writer, if you used to write when you were a kid, um, start writing again. Write poetry, write songs, write your feelings. Write the first 10 minutes when you get out of bed in the morning. I'm getting this kind of feeling energy for my Virgos. 
All right, we're gonna get some advice for you guys from my equine oracle deck. I love this equine deck. It has the sweetest energy to it, and I just love horses. I've ridden them since I was about four. They've always ran in my family, and I did show jumping. Ooh, yep, I love this. All right, Virgo. In your tarot cards, you're getting the Six of Cups in reverse. That's nostalgia. That's looking behind. This white Arabian is telling you to look beyond. Look beyond. And it's perfect because if you look beyond me, we've got Bell Rock over here, masculine and feminine energies. I'm in Sedona, Arizona. At the Vortex site, you can see this beautiful tree behind me. She grows in a swirl because the energy here does in fact twist. If you look at the roots of this tree, it starts over here and it moves up and around. It literally spirals. The trees here, the juniper trees, literally twist when they grow. It's incredible. This is telling you to look beyond. Your goal is within your reach, Virgo. You have been looking ahead to this goal for quite some time. You have been working towards it. You've been focusing your energy, your time, and your intention. I like that it said intention, not attention, because your intention is from your heart, your attention is from your head. So whatever you're paying attention to is not dropped into your gut heart and your heart heart. So if you're working toward an intention, then that's something inward. So Virgo, what I'm getting is stop going without for your answers and go within. That's why we also got the Hermit card. We got your, car your card in the, in the deck, in the pole. The seeds were sown Trust in knowing that you have done all that needs to be done to achieve your goal. The seeds were sown, watered, and tended well. Fruition and harvest are at hand. Now is the time for you to look beyond this goal into your next goal in line. The one that has been taking shape in your mind. As you begin, and see that had a little rhyme to it. And because of that, yeah, I'm just getting told, tap into your more creative center, Virgo. I'm feeling the more that you tap into your, yeah, as you begin to envision and focus on the goal on the horizon, the, immediately, the immediate goal will easily slide into completion. And I see that. I just got this um, vision of like, like, a, like a home run, just like, slide, just like sliding, like, just like pitter powder slide. And that's, yeah, that's like that Ace of Wands energy too. So... Virgo, maybe you've slid like that a couple times before and it didn't go so well and because of that you're kind of nervous to do it again. But yeah, I'm getting, yeah, as uncertainty is at the bottom of the deck. The unknown and yet to be revealed is always a mystery. You may recently have been trying to control the uncontrollable. You may have been seeking security or predictability and all that feels certain and safe, but to live with everything revealed and certain creates a sacrifice that you must examine at this time. To live with everything revealed and certain creates a sacrifice that you must examine at this time, Virgo. Wow, that was being really loud. But someone needed to hear that. Oh, You're, ooh, ooh. You sacrifice a life without true adventure and deep passion, Virgo. Your desire for all that is comfortable and safe is only natural, yet as at this time you are being asked to please take a risk. Let go of your need to know all outcomes and become willing to trust, Virgo. Breathe and with that breath, take in faith that some level of uncertainty will enrich your life more fully than you can only imagine. Only to the, the blah, only to the degree with which you can handle uncertainty can your life be fully charged. I love it. All right. Thank you, Virgo. That was your reading for mid-July slash whenever you open this video. I love you guys so much, and I look forward to serving you again soon.